Instant Messaging in Brightspace, a Brightspace tip brought to you by the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Office of Instructional Technology. Instant Messaging is a great alternative to chat and email, especially if you know the colleague that you want to instant message with is available right now. Please note, Instant Messaging is only available to staff members in AACPS. Students cannot send or receive an instant message. To begin an instant message, you're going to want to click on your mail icon where it appears here on your mini nav bar in Brightspace, and then you're going to choose Instant Messages. Right here on the inbox, you'll see a history of any messages that you've exchanged with other colleagues already. To start a new message, you're going to want to click on Friends, and if the person is not currently on your friends list, you're going to want to add them. So I want to instant message my coworker Paige, and she's not on my friends list yet, so I'm going to click on Add Friends, and then you can either search for the user, or you can add them by their username if you know that. So here I've added Paige to my friends list and now I'm ready to send her a message. So I can click on her name right here and down at the bottom type in my message for her. Once I have my message typed, I click send. One of the great things about instant messaging is that it tells me right here whether or not Paige is online right now. So if I see that she's not online, I don't bother to send her a message right now. I might prefer to go to email or some other means. But because it tells me that she's online right now, I can hope and send me a response here in a few minutes. Now, if you're waiting for a response from a colleague, you don't have to sit here with the instant messaging window open the whole time. You can close out of it and go on about doing your other business in Brightspace because when you get a message back from your colleague, just like email, it's going to populate an orange dot here on your mail icon. And sure enough, there I have a notification appeared on my mail icon and when I click on it, it confirms that it is a message back from Paige. When I click on this, it takes me right back into my instant messaging app so that I can read her message back to me and click to respond. One tip that I like to provide, if you are planning to correspond back and forth with another user, sometimes looking at those messages here in the inbox makes them all look like separate messages, whereas I prefer to see them as though they are one discussion or a thread. If you click on friends and then click on the person, you truly get that thread type of appearance to how the messages appear. I can type out a response back to page and click send. When I'm done in this particular thread of messages, I can click on the arrow here next to friends to be taken back to my friends list and then click back on inbox when I'm ready to go back to all of my messages. A couple of additional things to point out about Instant Messenger are some options here on the toolbar across the top. I can set a particular message thread as read or I can set them as unread. I can delete. So now I hope you're ready to get started with Instant Messaging.